Central Bank says Nigeria is likely to make 462 billion naira through electronic money transfers. West African leaders agree on new roadmap to launch single currency. Federal government offers 150 billion naira bond for auction. All ages up as Iran nuclear talks drag on. Plus, Business Express today takes a look at effective tax administration as means of revenue for government. The program is Business Express, reaching you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. I am Musa Abubakar. Let's begin with revenue. The World Bank says Nigeria is likely to make 462 billion naira through the electronic money transfers (EMT) levy as a source of stable revenue in 2021. The bank said this in its Resilience Through Reforms report. According to the report, the EMT levy was introduced in the Finance Act 2020, which amended the Stamp Duty Act and taps into the growth in electronic funds transfers in Nigeria. It can be administered at low cost. The EMT levy is a singular and one of charge of 15 naira on electronic receipt or transfer of money deposited in any deposit money bank or financial institution on any type of account on sums of 10,000 naira or more. Now, West African leaders at a summit in Ghana agreed on a new roadmap to launch a single currency in 2027. The bloc had planned to launch a common currency this year, but postponed the plan due to challenges posed by the coronavirus pandemic. ECOWAS Commission President Jane Cloud Cassibro said the new roadmap will cover the period between 2022 to 2026 and 2027 for the launch of the ECO. The currency known as ECO aims to replace the CFA franc used in former French colonies. Proponents of the ECO say it will help countries break dependence and exploitation by Paris. But countries like Nigeria and Ivory Coast have been accused of dragging their feet on the ECU. Gamba State is ranked number one among states in Nigeria for the provision of enabling environment for businesses to thrive. This is contained in the report of the Presidential Enabling Business Environment undertaken between November 2020 and January 2021. Emmanuel Aguila reports on some of the economic indicators that make business attractive in Gombe State. The study of the economic indicators that guarantee ease of doing business from the 36 states of the country and the federal capital territory Abuja covers infrastructure, security, transparency, access to information, and quality of workforce, among other variables. When you have good road networks, the businesses find it easy to move their goods, very easy. When you have health facilities that are of standard, workers will be healthy. That improves the business. Schools, when you have them, and they are doing what is right, they will bring out the manpower that is required. Government yes. supporting the businesses, easing off for them in terms of looking for lessons, land, etc., etc. Gombe is at the forefront today. 
if provision of road infrastructure, healthcare services, and education reforms would amount to favorable conditions for businesses to thrive, then the operators of small and medium enterprises in Gombe State will have a testimony to share about that. <laughs> idan ko zan zabo ne da za su je wasu makarantu su cika su cika su a cikin makarantu yanzu where our sales representatives drive on rough paths it's bad but with good roads no accidents and losses da ban fi mutum dubu biyu zuwa dubu uku ba a kalla ba kasar ba tsakanin yan yogo we were between 2000 to 3000 persons in this business area but now we are over 15000 business owners this is owing to security efforts Less levies and uh, administrative bureaucracies. Whenever you come, we make sure that we don't waste your time. We give you whatever you want, you know, right on time. And also um, provision of uh, good road networks and also supporting agriculture by, by this all the inputs like fertilizer, the tractors, and water fuel. Such thriving small and medium enterprises enjoying the enablers of ease of doing business that earned Gombe State the first position by the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council were showcased when Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo attended the 27th National Micro Small and Medium Enterprises Clinic hosted by Gombe State in March this year. In Gombe, Emmanuel Akila. And now to the business of the day. Before the pandemic, six of the 10 fastest growing economies in the world were in Africa with the pandemic shock, growth nosedive with the pandemic impacting on Nigeria's budgetary balances and increased debt burdens. Building back requires a lot more resources and tax forms a significant part of government revenue. Joining me to take a look at effective tax administration as means of revenue for government is Yusuf Ibrahim Abdul. He is a lawyer and a tax consultant. Glad to have you join us on Business Express. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, now let's look at the tax base. Now, there has been conversation on expanding the tax base, saying that most Nigerians are in the informal sector. Uh, what's your take on that? The informal sector, properly so called, are those persons who are not banked. They are called unbankable persons, persons who are in business. They are mostly artisans, but recently we have included farmers who are the bulk of the informal sector. Uh, in discussing the, the base, how far have we conscientized the people in this sector as to their responsibility to tax? Okay. That is one big question. Okay. Are they aware that they are supposed to pay tax? Is government reaching out to them with any incentive that will warrant them to pay tax? Are they even aware that tax is a responsibility that they should, they should, they should, they should be responsible to government or to, the, to their people? Uh, before you expand a tax bill, either legally or otherwise, mm. the, what you have put in place, to what extent have you make it known or easy for them to understand? For instance, some person believe that if I if he earn 50 naira mm. or per hour, for instance, he should not go to the bank to keep such money because his need is more than 50 naira. Now, what do we do as a government, for instance? to ensure that that 15 naira goes somewhere and that if it come out in another form, it has a benefit. Okay. And that is what I think we need urgently, not expanding the base. Because if you are expanding the base, you are talking about further laws, further legislation mm -hmm. to capture those persons into the tax drag. But, but you made mention of uh, lack of enlightenment, yes. is it? Yeah. yeah. So L why not enlighten more people? Now, so that so that they will know why they, are, they should pay tax and the I, benefits. I, I would love to do so if those who are actually in my mind can listen to me right now. Okay. I don't know. Because, for instance, you have farmers who have farms since morning. Mm. They are planting right now. This is the time they get to plant. And I am in the media talking to persons who are at home, perhaps in the office listening to me right now. Will those persons I am actually envisaging 
listen to me as I speak. Maybe perhaps we should expand the conversation to radio as well, so that I believe they listen to radio. It will not even be enough. Okay. There must be synergy, sir. So there how do we synergy. how do we achieve yes, the synergy? There, there must be synergy, mm. whereby certain organ of government play their rules and allow the tax offices to know that such persons exist in a particular area. Those days we have what they call extension services in the Ministry of Agriculture. These extension services ordinarily go to see what farmers are doing, are they doing well, are they, are they, are they, are they, are they farming according to the new technology or so. Mm -hmm. Then uh, in going to do that, in the, on, in, under the political democracy, or, or the political system we are in. Some person will do it free for farmers or free, do such things free. Why don't you use this model to tell those persons you are assisting, so to speak, that in the event this your farm uh, activity is going on, there is what government will demand of you that will enable government do road into your farm, that will enable government give you light. Why are we so... Uh, so sure that uh, farmers that is so busy will listen to radio. Okay. Shoemaker, mm. nail cutter, wazam, those who yeah. who bob hair. Yeah. So, um, how, how, how they, uh, what do you suggest we do? We need to. We need to. We need to. Form, we need to. We need to. The tax offices from the federal, federal and revenue services, state and revenue services need to form a synergy with certain agencies. National Orientation Agency. National Orientation Agency is a potent agency that can handle this. Not necessarily because they want us to live in peace, they also know that we can also live in peace by ensuring that certain activities are allowed to go on. Okay, uh, let's look at administrative formalities. Yes. Is it an up, has it been, you know, too much administrative formality? Has it been, uh, uh, what, a stumbling block? Big question. The, the style of administration in Nigeria is such that it is not easy, it is not smooth. Bottlenecks here and there. If you want to obtain your tax clearance today, you are an informal sector taxpayer, I mean, you are a formal tax, I mean, formal taxpayer uh, person. If you want to obtain your tax clearance, what is, imp what is important for you is to meet, is to go to your, uh, your accounts department, print out your payroll, indicating your tax deduction, file it with uh, IRS or IFRS, FRS. as it were, mm. and that should be enough for you to, take to get your tax clearance. But it's not so. You might file it, you might take it there, and that is the time the tax officers want to inquire whether your, your taxes have, was actually deducted in the first place. Okay, what about the transition? We've seen uh, lately, uh, or recently, uh, the launch of uh, Tax Pro Max, a platform that enables seamless uh, registration, filing, payment of taxes, uh, among others. Is this uh, a solution or one of it to...? Yeah, to the airlines, to the airlines, to the big player, yeah, it's a solution. But um, the, the advantage of it is that um, the FIRS model now will enable you to have what is called DIN, mm. Document Information Number. Yeah. It will allow you to have, for instance, you are my elder brother, you work, you, you know, carry out a contract with all the taxes taken out, you are paid. And then you, 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 you want to promote my business by giving me some stipend and it is paid into my account, mm. maybe as a Z account that belongs to me. With this, with your filing and giving details to FIRS, it will be most probably difficult for me to pay another tax on the same money you have paid tax on before. So the, 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 the document you, have, you are filing in include where those money has been expended, so that I will not be captured again for another tax on the same uh, tax area. It's a very good model for okay. uh, that, uh, with but I think it's still elitist. It's Why? for the elites. Because 
let me use Kano for example. There are huge lots of transactions that goes on in Kano that it is difficult to see those money going through the banks. So some of them will not go to anywhere to file this thing except they have anything to do with tax certificate. So if you don't need it, you just simply go and change. If you know the Naira may collapse next year or in the next few days, you look for dollars and change it, put it in the sack there. <laughs> so when they want to go to market again, they remove few dollars again, change it to Naira, and then business continue. So but for the elites, for those of us who go into one business or the other, this, this uh, FIRS initiative is laudable. But we need to still go down to look at those who are not technologically compliant to take note of this. Who will even go and feel, even if they are aware, mm. who will go and do it for them? Now, let's, uh, how do we enhance transparency then? Transparency is another issue when it comes to tax. I wish we don't come to this. Or because to come because, to this. because if you have to come to it in the area of taxation, mm. particularly when you're talking about compliance, mm. then you will see the dragon called corruption in it. And uh, without, without voluntary compliance in the area of taxation, and we, and I don't know how soon <laughs> we will be able to remove the hand of corruption <laughs> in some of yeah, these that's, things. That's, that's the, that is the area I am I'm looking at because um, if there is no compromise between the tax administrator and the taxpayer, then we will be will be flowing. But where there is compromise between the tax administrator and the taxpayer, then the, the circle of corruption set in, and then we still have the same answer as it has been. So what, what do we do? We, we really need to do, because we need to expand the tax base. The, the, the developed economy mm. has shown us significant areas of development. And they were able to get to this because the government match its words. For instance, you will hear in the US somebody talking about taxpayers' fund. Like this numbers of persons I'm talking about now who don't know about tax. How did they even know that there is tax paid? And so how would they be talking about excessive use of fund as a result of mis? that it is his tax money that is being misused. But sincerely speaking, this administration has done a lot of things in the area of revenue regulations. And I think we are moving somewhere. What we need to do, and urgently to, is to ensure that what FIRS is doing, perhaps we have to put them in a basket so that the rates local government are collecting, the taxes that states are collecting, what FIRA is collecting, is seen. It's seen as it, as it comes in. So that somebody will not be honestly overboarding that, okay, you, the license you collect is just license. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with tax. Mm -hmm. Or the fine you pay in the court is not tax, it's just fine. Mm -hmm. Or you, you, are, you have a liquor license that you obtain because you run a beer parlor, it's not tax, it's just license. Then if we can put them in a basket and we can see it, and everybody can see it, then we then, then, then we now have to create, to do that and to see it, it means we need a database. The major cross of all that I have been saying, sir, is that we need a database. Okay, uh, before we, I let you yes. go, uh, 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 there's an issue of tax waiver. Who gets tax waivers and who does it? Well, uh, in uh, the personal income tax, uh, 104 of 1993 as amended currently, initially fixed certain group of person into tax exempt. But uh, as we continue to revolve, we discover that it has become a loophole for evasion and avoidance. Then uh, those who were now more critically uh, 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 you know, looked at as tax exempt are mostly uh, uh, religious houses and uh, NGOs because of the services they render that are humanitarian have been seen as if they are already it contributing to the society and so they should be exempt from tax mm -hmm. but uh, as long as you earn income whether you stole that money whether you are a number of and the tax money can trace it is taxable
Okay. So thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Yusuf Ibrahim Abdul, lawyer and a tax consultant. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Stocks in Asia drop on Monday as Japan's markets plummeted. Meanwhile, China kept its benchmark lending rate on change. Nekalko has more on the global market. European stocks were unsteady Monday morning following jitters in global markets over the more hawkish stone from the U.S. Federal Reserve last week. Germany's DAX rose 0.25 percent, London's FTSE added 0.07 percent, and CAC 40 of France gained 0.05 percent. The decline for European markets reflected elsewhere, but after falling sharply in early trade, U.S. stock indices bounced back into positive territory in later deals. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 200 points, the S&P 500 0.46%, and Nasdaq 100 climbed 0.5%. Stocks in Asia also dropped on Monday as Japanese markets plummeted. The Nikkei 225 led declines with a 3.29% drop at 28,010.93. The Shanghai Composite added 0.12%, while Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index dipped 1.08%. In Africa, most markets on the continent were in the red in early deals, leaving investors searching for directions, while Tunisia's Tunidex was the standout performer as it hovered above the flat line. That's Global Market. I'm Neka Oku. It's back to Musa. On the commodity market, iron ore prices tumble on Monday in Asia as U.S. farmers are poised to expand planting of sorghum by nearly 20% this year. The stock market holds two weeks gains as losses index 1.03%. Bosede Ebel has more. It was a four-day trading week as the Federal Government of Nigeria declared Monday, 14th June 2021 as public holiday to mark the Democracy Day celebrations. Meanwhile, the NGX All Share Index and market capitalization depreciated by 1.3% to close the week at 38,648.91 while market capitalization dropped to 20.1 trillion naira at a turnover of 981.1 million shares worth 10.3 billion naira in 15,001 deals were traded by investors on the floor of the exchange. All other indices finished higher with the exception of NGX All Share Index, NGX Main Board, NGX Merry Growth, and NGX Industrial Goods, which depreciated, while the NGX Growth and NGX ASM indices closed flat. Last week, the banking industry outpaced other sectors with a gain of 1.3%. The NGX Banking Index grew the quickest of all the sector indices, rising by 0.36% to 362.51 basis points, owing mostly to gains in the shares of Access and Zenith Banks. In terms of volume, the financial services industry led the activity chart with 695.8 million shares valued at 5.1 billion naira traded in 8,616 deals. The consumer goods industry followed with 75.8 million shares while the third place was occupied by the conglomerate industry. A total of 101,419 units of exchange traded products valued at 1.6 million naira were traded in the week in 14 deals as well as 26,452 units of federal government bonds valued at 27.2 million naira in 17 deals. Summary of price changes shows that 38 equities appreciated in price during the week, 25 equities depreciated in price, while 93 equities remained unchanged. Boss Day Able, Business Express.
Now, this is where we end this edition of Business Express. We value your feedback, so keep the comments, observations, and suggestions coming. Be informed that all previous episodes are available on YouTube on the NTS channel. Business Express returns Tuesday by 9.30 a.m. I am Musa Bakar.